Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside Air Gamer. Welcome to Metro Simulator 2. I like to thank the developer at Kishmish Games for sending us an early access key so we can showcase this game early for you guys. It is going to be released tomorrow on the 15th of December 2022. So if any of you played uh, Metro Simulator, the very first one came out quite a while ago now. I haven't played it in a very, very long time. It was a decent game, uh, quite complicated, obviously uh, being Russian. Uh, some of the buttons and stuff, but anyways, we'll, we'll get into that. We're going to start with a tutorial today. So there are lots of game modes. I'll tell you some bits about this. We got a free mode which you can choose your role. We can be a train driver or passenger. You can choose stations at dead ends where you start the game by yourself. You can drive onto the line without passengers. Uh, but at any time you can set the desired route and set up the schedule it's important to follow it and depart from stations on time so currently this is going to be the moscow metro line 6 there are 24 stations various tunnels objects inside them uh, they've been using modern technologies the game delivers all the experience of russian capital subway stations all the lines were built in different time periods so they reflect their area's developments there's advanced speed control systems uh, we've got main characters of the game uh, obviously the trains two trains are featured in the game one of each has its own controls are equipped with all the basic functionality for safe passenger transportation okay so that's what we're going to do we're going to have a look at these scenarios so let's press start uh, mainly because i need to remember how to drive these trains now the first train is the older one i'm assuming the uh nominoid train uh what other scenarios we got we've got exit from the reserve so it's obviously teaching us a little bit about that 75 minutes wow uh then we've got the induction to the oka train this is obviously the more modern train uh there we go and then there's another scenario probably for that as well to do the whole line i'd imagine train transfer 40 minutes that's not too bad but look i quite like the look of the old-fashioned one when it comes to metro stuff i do like the older stuff so we're going to give this a bit of a go we're going to see if we can learn how to operate one of the most popular trains in the post-soviet space and eastern european this is quite an old model which has some specifications you'll learn about while completing your first route okay so in this scenario you'll learn how to operate an old soviet train work with the routing system and you'll also get familiar with the peculiarities of working on the metro line right now we're at the dead end of uh i'm, I'm gonna destroy every pronunciation i apologize but we'll say mirror station you can look around using the mouse and zoom in and out uh using the mouse wheel okay so cool now turn on the power supply and mode compressor. But first of all, I just want to have a look at this. Uh, it actually looks, there's huge improvements from the first one on the uh, modeling and stuff. I think it looks great in here. I think the textures are nice. The only problem is obviously it's uh, not quite in English, but we'll get there, we'll get there, I'm sure. Okay, so we can see the arrows above here telling us what they want us to switch on. So this one would be the motor compressor. This one is the BPSN which I'm assuming is the power. So there we go. Get, get, get some voltage, get the compressor on. For your convenience, turn on the cabin lighting and console lighting switches. They're down here. There we go. Now we need to enable the reverse switch. It's handled is location to your right. Hover the cursor over it and press the left mouse button by changing the state of the reverse switch. You select the movement direction of the train. So it's this is our little switch here. So there we go. I'm just, is that forward or reverse now we need to enable the reverse switch it's handled okay no it wants us to go down a bit more does it you can also change the position of reverse switch by pressing left control which is in the following order forward neutral backwards okay okay now turn on the als the automatic locomotive signaling the ar ASR automatic speed regulation switches. ALS displays a maximum speed allowed. ASR controls and your speed by not letting you exceed the limit portrayed by the ALS at any given moment. Now the ALS, which we're going to be keeping an eye on, I believe is this area here. It should uh, flash what we what speeds we should be allowed to be doing and stuff. But here we go. ALS is on and the ARS is on. Okay. Now open the EPV taps, electric pneumatic valve, the shutoff tap, the EPV tap connects the brake line and the electro pneumatic valves of ASR. The shutoff tap enables the independent brakes and pneumatic brake system. Wow, there's a lot of reading here. Okay, so the valve is down here by the looks of it. There you go. That one's on. And we do have another one here. The train is good to go, but we need to set up the informer first. It enables the announcements of the stations of the passengers. It also sets the route in free mode. Okay. Let's arrange the initial settings of the panel uh, to your right. Choose the track where you're going towards. 
we got Medvedkovo. It's the first track. When you're going towards... Oh, my God. Um, Novo, shall we say. Well, well, we'll try and break them down a bit. It's the second track we're going to set off from Mediv. <laughs> so let's select the first track by pressing the menu button. Okay, so here's the menu button. This is for the announcements. And we need to flick through until we see VDNKH. There you go, VDNKH. Press the menu to finish setting up the inform. Okay, so we'll press it again. The nearest station available to start the route is uh, Mira. Okay, so we're starting down here. We're only going to be doing one, two, three, four stations. If Well, we'll try and do four stations if we can get moving. Okay, I think that's fine. The recording will now play upon pressing the I button. The next station is Yasinevo. Для вашей безопасности держитесь за поручни. Okay, the informer is now working. Let's switch the recording that we need with the down arrow. We'll start moving from... Okay, so we need to move this now down to the, our starting point, which is uh, mirror. Okay. Prospect mirror, isn't it? Is that not it? Okay, I get it, yeah. So good, now take a look at the sheet with the schedule on your left. It displays the time you'll need to depart from station. Also, it shows the score you have achieved for boarding passages and announcing stations on time. You can be fined for arriving at the station not on time, making the train engage emergency brakes and other actions. Okay, that's not good. The red signal prevents any movement of the train right now. And the railway switches are misconfigured. To build the route from the dead end to the station, change the position of the switches by clicking on the red-green indicator. Click on one traffic light with the left mouse button to open it. Tooltips for railway switches can be toggled in settings. If you don't see them now, make sure you have them displayed. Well, we can see them here. Press left mouse button to switch. So I'm assuming that means we're going that way. The red signal, which we still have, uh, permits any movement of the train. Right now, the railway switches are misconfigured. The builder route from the dead end to the station. Change the position of the switches by clicking on the red-green indicator. Okay, so I need to do the one down here too. There you go. Now what? The red signal... Do I have to click on it? Okay, there we go. Now we've got the white. Traffic light is now white. The signal allows the train to manoeuvre. Now switch to driver controller to drive one. And the train will start moving. Okay, so here is our controller. Uh, w and S will bring us up and down. Okay, we're going to learn about this brake, I'm assuming. Switch the drive controller to zero, then to T1, and the train will start slowing down. Switch the drive controller to T2. We'll automatically switch to a more intensive mode of braking. You can also increase the force of braking more smoothly position by position. It can be done by switching the driving controller from T1 to T1A and back again. In the T2 position, the braking force increases automatically, but you can always stop the process by returning to the T1A position. Okay, so that's T1A there. Okay. The upper part of the driver's desk, you can now see the speedometer and the current speed limit of the right of it. Yeah, I'm assuming that this is that, yeah. Okay, now start moving towards the station without exceeding a speed limit. So we are allowed to do 40 in here. So we'll go to T2. Now let's try and use the independent brakes by default position 2 is the default state when the brakes are fully disengaged. Now switch it to position 3, okay. Is that 3? As you can see, the pressure on the braking cylinder has started to increase and the train has begun slowing down. Precise braking with the independent brakes is one of the hardest things to master, but the most reliable way of slowing down. By changing the position of the independent brakes, you can adjust the intensity of the braking. Okay, well, clearly we're not even going to get to the end of the station here. But be careful, the effect of braking doesn't come immediately, but only after two to four seconds. I'm assuming the mark is at the end of the station here. Am 
Okay. Just trying to feel the brakes out, feel the delay. Did it? No? Now, switch the independent brakes to position 7. Wow, how many notches are there? Okay, so... 7. Now lock the switch responsive for closing the doors and open left doors button to let the passengers get off the train. Keep in mind that there is a switch that controls the side of the doors which will be open left or right. If the platform is on the right, don't forget to slip this switch and only then open the doors with the same button. Okay, so we can use E with that and open left doors which is F and I'm assuming this will open the other doors. Passengers are now boarding. Announce the next station by pressing program I. And now we can close the, the doors. Okay. To travel further, we need to charge the brake line again by moving the independent brakes to position 2, which we can do. Is that 2 or is that too far out? And this is the problem. No, that must be all the way. Okay. Be careful because the ACB automatic circuit breaker lamp will do something that I didn't get to read. Travel to uh, Rizishka and don't see the speed limit. Keep an eye on the schedule and try to stick to it. Okay, he's just said and done. Switch controller to zero. Well, what's my speed limit there? 70, isn't it? To the X2 position to make the train accelerate at a constant rate. Switch the controller back to X1 to accelerate as quickly as possible. Switch the controller to X3 position. Try not to speed. Okay, we can go 80, so... The green light indicates the next part of the track is free. You can continue. Okay, everyone's shouting at me here. We're close to the speed limit. Be careful. We are. We're right on it. Okay, so I'm assuming the next light is green. 80. So we need to be 70 by the next one. But we are coming into a station anyways. Terribly great. God, we can make it. Okay, announce the current station using I. And open the doors. This is Rishske. Change here for D2. Wait a bit and announce the next station and that the doors are closing. Again, is that just I? Yep. Yeah. So we've got to do it twice. Осторожно, двери закрываются. Следующая станция Алексеевская. The next station is Алексеевская. Для вашей безопасности держитесь за поручни. Okay, speed limit is 70 at the moment. Okay, so clearly I overspeeded. I think that's what it was trying to tell me. I think that's part of what we're supposed to have done. Okay, so we know to press Z if that beep goes off now.
Okay, full speed. I'll just keep under that 70 because I don't know how far the next green light is. Quite a distance, there we go. I might have gone a little bit over. Okay, all right. Alexeyevska. E. This is Alexeyevska. Okay, got to wait a bit, and then that's the next station. Осторожно, двери закрываются. Следующая станция ВДНХ. The next station is ВДНХ. Будьте вежливы. Уступайте места инвалидам, пожилым людям, пассажирам с детьми и беременным женщинам. Okay, we're good to go. We did quite good there. Станция ВДНХ. Конечная. Поезд дальше не идет. Пожалуйста, выйдите из вагона. This is ВДНХ. This train terminates here. How do I know if all the passengers have left? Half have been told. Can I not get out of my chair? That would be so cool. Поезде, который следует в тупик. Okay, close the doors. Административная ответственность согласно законодательству Российской Федерации. Okay, we now need to turn the train around at the dead end. The routing system will help us achieve this goal. It helps you build routes automatically without manually adjusting the railway switches. Now right click on the traffic light BC527M. The routing window will be displayed. Okay, select the option to track four towards the dead end remember that you can build a route manually by adjusting each railroad separately now head to the dead end be careful after the sign 04 ALS you'll also display 04 which means no frequency don't forget to hold the vigilance button down before approaching this sign when holding the vigilance button you can drive past the red light or without the signal from ALS but it can only be below 20. Stop near the 8 sign. Okay, are you a s you? Okay, so we can use another key. Uh, okay, great. Another one to remember now. 
I mean, we're not particularly going to go fast down here, are we? Eighth sign. I like the way the lights can uh, automatically configure this for you. I think this is looking stunning. I think we're definitely going to have to live stream some of this. Could be good fun. Let me know in the comments down below. Would you like to see a live stream? Some Metro Sim? Or would you like just to see some more videos? Please let me know. Okay, I'm assuming that that's the end. Oh, so I don't need to use the diligence until we got to 04. Okay. And we need to stop at the 8th. Good, before switching cabins, switch to reverse handle to the neutral position. Uh, so we can use control for that. You can change cabins in two ways. So a quick switch, press N. You're now in the opposite cabin. This way is fast, but not realistic. Now let's return back and try the second way. Leave your chair by pressing the enter. Ah, oh, we can walk. Damn. Okay. And walk to the opposite cabin. On your way, open and close the doors by pressing the left mouse button. Do we do it? Can I go through the train? Oh, we can go through the train as well. Look at this. That's wicked. Definitely need to get a picture of the front of the train now. Wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get one. Like a horse galloping. Okay, we are at the end. Can I open these doors? No. No. Can I open this door? Can, but I can't get out of the bloody thing, can I? I actually want to see if we can see the front of the train quickly. What have I done? Shut you. I've locked myself in. <laughs> okay, we've got to do what they want us to do. Use the routing to build the route f to the second track. Okay, so we can click on this for to the second track towards Nova. There we go. Good, now let's get the train ready. Remember the actions you performed in the other cabin. For convenience, all the necessary switches are marked with arrows. Okay, that's great. So we know that we need to put these two on. Then we want our lights on. And then I believe it was... Oh yeah, the controller. And then ALS, ARS, then it was down here. We need the taps on. Okay. Well, it's already in VDKH there, so I'm assuming we're just all good. Alrighty then, uh, let's, uh, let's move forward then. I love the way that we can use the lights for the guiding.
Okay, great job. Completed two of three drive mode and the next scenarios are now available to us. Yay! Okay, there you go, guys. So we have done the first tutorial of that train there. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know. Do you want to see some more Metro Simulator 2? Uh, I'll make some more videos in the week. Maybe we'll have a look at the other train as well as the passenger mode. Could be pretty cool. Um, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. Hit that like button. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.